Hello, my name is Benjamin Fulford and I'm here to talk to you about the secret government of the United States and why it is the world's largest problem. My involvement with the secret government started this spring when I interviewed Japanese finance minister Heizo Takenaka or former finance minister Heizo Takenaka. Dragon's Den. I confronted him with evidence that he had sold out the Japanese financial system to a group of financial companies controlled by David Rockefeller and the Rothschilds. The very next day, I got a email from someone who said he was introduced by Mr. Takenaka and he wanted to meet me to meet somebody. The person I met gave me this Freemason badge and he said to me that he was a professional assassin and that I could either stop exposing people or no, he said I could either continue exposing people and die at the age of 46 or I could become basically finance minister of Japan. Now I have all this proof on tape and video. Uh, <clears throat> this is apparently what happens to a lot of people on this planet. They get to a certain level and they're told either you join us or you die. And most of them join them and that way they get the elite in their pocket. And that's the secret of their control. In my case, I would have probably had to do that, too. Although, once I realized I had met an honest, genuine, high-level Freemason who told me there were 13 levels of Freemason above the 33rd degree, and that these people were God. There was no God, they were God. So I asked them about their plans to kill people, and they said, yes, there are too many people on the planet we need to get rid of, of several billion and war doesn't seem to work so we're going to use disease and starvation now I don't know about you but I couldn't live with something like that and my first thought was I'll have to pretend to join them and try to you know throw them over from the inside and I suspect a lot of the people inside those groups have the same feeling they hate being there but they're scared but they'd love it if these guys were overthrown. So you got to remember, not everybody in the secret government is evil. In fact, I'd be willing to bet a majority actually want to do good things for the planet, but they're scared. In my case, the very next day after I got this threat and offer of a bribe from the ninja, well, the guy who described himself as a ninja, a Chinese secret society contacted me. It's actually an Asian secret society. It's not Chinese. It com it's Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese. It's all of Asia. Uh, and they offered me protection. Well, this is their booklet. One of them. This is the booklet of the other. Now, people who know will know this is real. They have six million members more actually including 1.8 million gangsters and a lot of very intellectual people they can mobilize all public opinion in Asia so with their protection I continued exposing David Rockefeller and earlier this year I issued an ultimatum on rents.com the answer to the ultimatum was that the self-described assassin told me there would be an earthquake in Niigata Prefecture, Japan. And two days later, there were, on two consecutive days, earthquakes right at the, on top of Japan's largest nuclear power plant. And, I'll try to present this to people in the future, there was video taken of a ball of plasma in the atmosphere above Niigata on that day. So his answer was to hit a nuclear power plant with an earthquake machine and kill innocent people. And I said, why on earth would I not then retaliate? Well, that would be playing into his strong hand, now wouldn't it? 